Muy buenos días, muy buenas tardes, espero que estéis muy bien. Continuamos con Red Dead Redemption. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiations. Let's go. A ver, Charles, ¿qué propones? Okay, I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the arm. Certainly won't help our case today. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I'm not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, How can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. This way. Careful! Over this way! Is there a problem, Mr. Morgan? Come on, Mr. Morgan. We still have a good ride ahead of us. Hurry! I don't think we should keep them waiting.
Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. You know, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <sighs> Listen, Mr. Um... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made and causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Reigns. That's, uh, Reigns' fault. Exactly. Yeah. Chief Reigns, the thing it's quite is, a cough. The federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court martial. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Well, removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> The lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir? from a junior officer in public. Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall I'll get away with this. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Time to get out of here. Come on. I'll kill you. You son of a bitch. Let's go. Just let him go, okay? Get off me. Open fire on me. <laughs>
What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? You can't worry about that now. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, or avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet me at the reservation. Hmm? <coughs> Reverend? Reverend. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm leaving. Running away? Yeah, I suppose so. I'm... I'm running away. 
I, I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You're leaving? I told them to run, too. I asked them to come with me, and they wouldn't. I've changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I won't die over some nonsense spouted by a fool. I ain't changed. I'm still a bad man. Maybe your path isn't changing, Arthur. My path is coming to an end, Reverend. I know, son. I know. And I know that you will face your destiny like a man, like a warrior, because that's what you are. That's all I am, a fighter, a killer, and a uh, crazy man. So be it. You lived your way, you'll die your way. But in the time that you have left, don't compromise and you'll do everything that you have to do just fine. We'll see. I don't have to see. I know you. Fight and keep fighting. Okay. Good luck out there. Be true to yourself, Mr. Morgan, and leave the lies and the hypocrisy to fools like me. I see you there. Give me a minute, please. A ver. Annesburg. Y ya de vuelta aquí. Annes. Annesburg. Riggs. Glad to see you on the up and up. Vámonos. Los trenes no están disponibles en este momento. ¿Por qué? Thanks for your assistance. ¿Y por qué no están disponibles? Pues vamos en diligencia a Annesburg. Vale, vamos a por este tío y luego a... I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. Watch where you go. Una mina. Arthur Londonderry. Here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. 
man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a knocking. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender. Vale, vamos para Xavi Adler. Adler. You okay? <laughs> Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them O'Driscolls. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw Colm swing. I... I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me. And to my husband? Look, you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. I'll tell you what. I wish I could. But I cannot do it. I've... I've... Enough with the old Driscoll's revenge is a fool's game. You say so. Well, thank you for your honesty. Listen, I'm real sorry. Don't worry about it. But... I hate to ask, but uh, when the time comes, I got a plan. And I'm gonna need your help with it if I'm gonna pull it off. Excuse me? There's money, lots of it, for you, me, and John. Okay. Well, tell me when you can. Good. I knew I could count on you. Leave them on Driscoll's. They ain't worth it. You're better than that. Sadly. That ain't true. Bueno, estamos haciendo todo lo que sentimos como nos sentimos. Hemos rechazado hacer esa misión porque consideramos que somos mejores que eso. Ahora, vámonos para acá.
Vale, un segundín. Pues nada, tendremos que ir hasta el confín. Vale, ahora sí. Like something.
bust me. Here. Ostras, Pedrín. Me ha dejado más tocado que... Pero esta, esta escena es exactamente... Bueno, exactamente no, pero es idéntica, vamos, a la, a la de... ¿Cómo se llama el chico este? Leonardo DiCaprio. Con R, no sé. No. Despellejar. Oso legendario. Flipo. Cargamos. Hey, partner. Ah, hello. No! Arthur. Hello, Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh, he, 
It's very. Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, that's why I came. He's in his tent. Joe, I'll wait for you here. Perhaps this man has a true heart. Grace, a big soul. Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. Uh, he's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. He uh, lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? The people who have lied to my people for... A hundred years or more, that's treason. Well... What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favors. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more... Complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got. I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river, in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <laughs> good. You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. Yeah, but we all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He never had any intention of helping those people. At this point? I ain't sure if he's got any intention of even getting us out of here. He could be stringing everyone along. But he's holding all the money. Ain't that crazy? You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw a doctor. It's pretty bad. <laughs> but it's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Oh. Any day we can die, hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. 
In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you are lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Rosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. I'm here now because Dutch asked me to. I need to keep playing along with his plan until I find out where all that money's hidden. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. Ugh. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. The rainsfall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. There it is. Alright. This should be fun. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. Sabía que algo teníamos que hacer en este puerto. Deal with those two at the gate first. You take one, I'll take the other. No, vale, vale, vale. Entonces con un arco. Vale, vale, con un arco creo que. Los podríamos. All right. You ready? Yes. Keep down and follow me. Patrol group. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back. Brown. There's two guards up front. If you take one, I'll take the other. Nice and quiet. Uh, okay, come on. Let's see if we can get around the back. Stay close to the wall. There's a guard right above us.
This one's mine. to waste an arrow on him. Use your knife. You do well. All right. Done. Let's go. Another two ahead. One each. Same as before. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. You should have a clear shot from the walkway up there. Vale, la he liado. La he liado. Come on. Your father sent us. My father? He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Uh, Whoa. No. Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine.
been sealed back up. I'll have to deal with this with you. Yes, but how? What about that cannon? Okay. Uf, casi.
que acaba de pasar ahora mismo yo no estoy muy seguro. ¿Qué? ¿De qué? O sea, de repente va a ser el concursante del desafío, Morad. Un segundo, ahora voy. Nos ha metido en un lío. Bueno, claro, es que estáis aquí, es que está aquí medio desafío. ¿Y qué tenía que hacer ahí, se supone? ¿Qué tenía que hacer? A ver. Disparar no podía. ¿No? Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front. Let me take you back to your phone. Hmm? Thank you. No much. Pobre Arthur. Vale, estamos cerca de Valentine y tenemos que ir otra vez a Annesburg. Madre, Mother of God. Aquí está William y aquí está Cuela que la que tenemos que recuperar sus pertenencias. Vale. 
Pues señores y señoras, por aquí dejaremos el capítulo de hoy. Hasta luego.